I have found the best way to do a water test in your home aquarium. So as a lot of you know, we had some flooding and lost power for over three days and it caused havoc in the fish room. We lost some fish and now we're trying to get those tanks back up to standard. So I took four water samples down to Fish and Feather, my local fish store, and we're gonna use the Aqua Spin to give us a full report on exactly where those tanks are at and what we need to do to get them up to their best standards. Hey Chris, how are you going? Good Josh, how are you? Not too bad. I just wanted to do some water tests on some of the tanks from the Aquamate fish room. Yep. I just want to use the new Aquaspin so we can log your records and... What's an Aquaspin? Do you want to use the new Aquaspin? Yeah, absolutely. I definitely want to get it tested properly and uh, see if we can record some of these details. Yeah, so with the Aquaspin, we'll log your details. We'll log each tank individually. And then over time, we can graph your tank. Um, you'll get an email every time you get a water test with the results. And then you'll also get a print out while you're here. And if there's any issues appearing over time, we can pick up on those. And it sounds everything much better. like it. it's exactly what I need. Cool, all yeah. right, well, how do we get started? All right, so firstly, I'll just get you to fill in the form so we can get you in the system. All right, so we'll just open the disc, we'll fill it with a water sample and we'll pop it in the machine and we'll get it underway. Perfect. These packets are supposed to tear open, but you always gotta use the scissors. All right, so we'll start with the lounge tank. We always clean the syringe in your water, so we're getting an accurate read. Pop this into the machine. And then we uh, go onto the software and start the process. Okay, Josh, and now you're in the system. There is Aquamate. Scan down and we find the tank that we're doing. Today we're doing the lounge tank. So we just click on start water test. We've already put the disc in, so we just click start test, and this takes about two minutes. Okay, so the test is complete. So what we'll do now is we'll generate a report. There's your report there. And what we'll do is we will email you a copy and we'll print a copy and then we'll go and grab a copy out of the printer. Okay, Josh, so we got your results. Overall, it's pretty good. We just got to change a couple of things. Um, it's showing that your pH is a little low, but optimal would be 6.5 to 6.8. We're at 6.4, so not really dramatic. Your KH is low, so when we fix the KH, that will fix the pH. Um, so alkalinity is KH, total hardness is GH, so they're both reading a little bit low, which will show you down the, the bottom here. A little bit of phosphate, that's just Melbourne water, there's also phosphate in fish foods and KH powder, so that's expected. Um, down the track, if we're going to a higher level tank with CO2, we can make some changes to eliminate phosphate, um, but in a a new tank and for a basic tank we don't stress too much about the phosphate unless it's really high. Um, nitrates is reading at one which is a little bit low so adding um, more fish, uh, adding plant foods will get the nitrates up a perfect 
nitrate would be between 10 and 20 parts per million. But nitrite's zero and ammonia is at 0 0.1. Again, with that, that's really low, it's the lowest reading we can get. We wouldn't normally worry about that, especially in a new tank. Uh, once ammonia starts getting over 0 0.25, then we start taking it a little bit more seriously. Or if we have ammonia around a high pH, we start taking that more seriously as well. Okay, so the machine's given you a list of instructions to do. So again, it's highlighting that the pH is just a little bit low, but it's pointing out in the instructions there that it's more, more likely just because the KH is low. So we're going to not worry about that because we're going to correct the KH. Your GH is telling you, based on the volume of water in your tank, Josh, that we're going to add 63.8 grams of GH conditioner. That'll bring your GH up, get the magnesiums and salts back into the water and your KH, we're going to add the wild KH because that's set at the pH level that you want and we're going to add 101 grams of wild KH and again it's mentioning down here uh, reasons for why the nitrate may be low but we'll work on that by adding more fish to this tank and getting some plant foods in there. Other than that the tank's in pretty good health. Okay Josh we've got your results here. Um, the only thing we're going to alter on there is because we're moving the GH and KH by uh, a larger amount. We try not to move by more than three or four degrees a day if we can. So I'm going to get you to split those up over two days. So do a half dose today and then a half dose tomorrow. And then by the next day, she'll be full on. Perfect. Ready to go. I like it. It's so easy and simple and just, yeah, just to get this is really, really helpful for a lot of fish keepers. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just have it all laid out in front of you rather than mucking around with the colours and thinking is it right, is it wrong. So that's cool. So this is mine. That's yours and it's all in the system. So anytime you come in now, we can look you up, we can look up past results, we can graph whether you're constantly having the same issues or whether there's new issues or no issues. It's all there. So if there's like a drastic change, you can see kind of where it was right at the last, if it was say two weeks ago that I came in, and something changes, you can sort of pinpoint what might have happened. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, we can. So, okay, so it started here. So, what's happened here? Was it from when you got new fish, or was there a power out? And we can makes it easier for us to pinpoint the cause, which makes it easier to fix the problem. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Cool. Thank you very much. Cheers, Josh. See you, See next, you time. next time. So there you have it, guys. We got all four tanks tested. I've got all of them on an email here. It's going to tell me exactly what I need to do to just boost the KH or the GH or the pH. It's really, really handy. It's not just like using different colors to think, am I a little bit too high or a little bit too low? It actually explains what you can do to improve your fish tank and get it ready for those next fish or shrimp or plants as you move forward. So if you're in the area, make sure you head down to Fish and Feather, get a water test done with the Aqua Spin. It costs $10, but it gives you a full report on exactly where your tank's at and can help you fix some of those issues you might be having. Not only that, they will have a record of your tank as you move forward, and it can help you find the perfect parameters for that next fish or shrimp or plants. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. There's plenty of videos about fish keeping on the channel, including another video next week where we go to Fish and Feather. They've got something really, really cool happening. I spent ages filming there. It looks sick and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So make sure you're subscribed. Now, after you get your water test done, remember if you get new fish or shrimp, always acclimate them first. I'm Josh from Aquamate. I'll see you soon. Oh, oh, oh.